Hello YouTube. Uh, I'm going to give you a tutorial on how you can set up a co-simulation transient transient simulation between Simploder, ANSYS Simploder, and Ansoft Moxwell. As you know, when you have uh, Moxwell uh, structures, you can uh, solve the problem for electromagnetic uh, uh, basically simulation. Uh, you can see in the right the window of the Moxwell and I have a simple a sample for example um, uh, problem uh, which is two coils uh, and I put them in the air and I want to know what would be the reaction between these two coils if I excite one of them and how much power I can get from the uh, uh, the other coil which is in a distance of uh, five centimeters away from uh, five millimeters away from the the, the upper coil. I call the upper coil transmitter or TX and the, the lower coil RX or receiver. On the left I have simploder. Simploder, the idea that I have here is I'm, I'm going to excite uh, the transmitter coil uh, with uh, basically a voltage source and I'm going to measure the power uh, that I can receive on the receiver side with a power transmitter well, basically sorry with a power uh, meter so to start doing that I'm going to basically you can see that I already um, made a, a schematic here uh, in the simploder that has some uh, elements inside uh, I'm going to show you uh, one element how to uh, put for example the uh, voltage source and the rest is the same. It's the same thing. You just need to follow the same uh, instruction. So under the project manager in your An uh, Ansys Simploder, you have a tab called components. That might be a bit um, uh, hard to find, uh, especially if you're used to work with the uh, older Simploder versions where the components were in another sub menu on the top. Now they put these things here. So you have a tab here called components. Um, you have a project component well you populate your uh, schematic it will have all the elements that you used in your schematic here uh, lined up here but if you started at the beginning basically you shouldn't have anything underneath the project component what you would do is you go on the very top um, simpler elements and right now I'm looking for a voltage source so I would go um, under uh, the basic elements and under the basic elements I go for circuit base simpler elements basic elements under the basic elements I go for folder circuit and under circuit I will browse down the sources so over here the first one is voltage source so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna select it and then I'm gonna drag it into my circuit so that's how it works. I click the uh, voltage source and uh, rotate that. Uh, let me just make it larger so I can find the rotating tools here. Uh, I'm going to rotate it like this and I'm going to move it back here. Now I'm going to define what this voltage source uh, is going to be. So it's called E1, you can put whatever name you want, I'm going to call it input. Um, EMF value, you know what, I want a time control voltage source, which gives me a sine wave. The sine wave is going to be a voltage, and uh, I'm, going to, I'm going to have uh, basically an amplitude of 15 volt and a frequency of here is 50 Hertz I can have whatever frequency I want I put FN so it can be variable I uncheck the current and EMF values uh, because I'm just gonna have a voltage source uh, if you go to the other parameters or other tabs is basically for AC simulations which is not any the uh, topic of this video uh, because now we are focusing on transient transient link between uh, simulate simpler and Maxwell so both of our um, analysis would be transient analysis and therefore we are focusing on this part I'm gonna press OK here 
uh, the rest of the circuit is like this I have a series resistance with the uh, input source and also a, a, a resistance uh, in series anyhow uh, with the power meter uh, if you don't put these resistors and if you don't put a value uh, other than zero your simulation would not work because there's a fault in this simulation engine and uh, you need to have a resistor in uh, series with the input and also any sort of meter whatever it is if it w whether it's a, po a power meter or it's an amp meter or it's a voltage meter so you have to have a resistor in series you can put a very small values and um, basically these resistors are uh, showing you basically presents the parasitic resistance that you may have for your uh, input source or uh, whatever components you're putting there so it's not a very bad idea to put it and uh, otherwise it wouldn't work so that's the first step now on the other hand in the uh, the Maxwell you want to make sure that you're I'm gonna uh, make this Maxwell window big uh, in the Maxwell window, uh, I want to make sure that uh, my Maxwell uh, solution type or the simulator is set to transient. So to do that, I go to the Maxwell 3D menu and under that I will select solution type. And under there, I, I want to make sure that I'm in a magnetic so uh, basically solution and I'm uh, selecting transient. So this is a transient simulator that's what I want press OK now when you are in the transient simulator you have the option to have different kind of uh, excitations uh, one thing that you have to make sure you are doing is all of your ports which you have four ports for two coils um, has to be uh, coil terminal excitation not, no other t excitation you don't want to have a current excitation you don't want to have a voltage excitation you just want to have coil terminal excitation I will give you more uh, tutorial about how you can uh, set up this Maxwell uh, structures but right now just uh, want to make sure that you guys understand that uh, you have to have coil tens uh, terminal excitation in your Maxwell side in order to be able to export it as a black box with four ports in SimPloder, uh, as you can see in the next couple of minutes. And the other uh, point that you have to always make sure is when you are defining the coil terminals, one coil, the as you can see, the direction of the current is inward. The other coil has to have the opposite directions, which is outward here. So to do that, you just need to press swap directions by default all of them are in inward direction when you swap the other uh, basically uh, terminal you make it outward so that's that's how it should be otherwise it wouldn't work because it doesn't understand its uh, circular thing okay so I'm pressing OK here note that here um, you don't need to uh, have uh, analysis but if you add it it will basically by default uh, be used by the simulator. Um, the analysis that I have here, transient simulations, uh, it says that the stop time is 5 microseconds, depending on my frequency, I choose 5 microseconds. The time step is 100 nanoseconds. There's nothing special actually here. Uh, I just want to press OK. Uh, so you saw what I have. Uh, if you're asking what is this blue thing, it's, these are windings, and uh, uh, you basically add windings and then you put assign that this two coils into this windings so you have uh, basically two uh, uh, basically coils with two terminals that's I can actually uh, you can see that in the next tutorial come back to the simpler so now that we have our uh, Maxwell ready we go to the simpler and we uh, go to the simpler circuit and under the sub circuit we will follow the menu to reach Maxwell component under the Maxwell component the first menu the me first choice is add transient coil simulations that's what we want press OK on that or press uh, right click on that 
and uh, now I want to uh, assign the source projects so the same uh, project that I was showing you a, a second ago um, it's called uh, alpha rx tx core transit I'm gonna press ok on that and I'm gonna tell you that you can either obtain the information actually this doesn't work here you just want to say this design is a 3d design automatically understand that okay this is the name of the design and this is a setup one which is a transient setup that you already made in the maxo it understands and bring them into the same folder now you can press ok now what i have is a four input i mean two input two output uh, black box which is connected to my maxo designs and these four uh, basically terminals comes from the four uh, call terminal that I already de defined in Maxo. So I'm just uh, putting this because I already designed this one before. I just put it there, so it all has the connections. And uh, I'm gonna save this. Okay. It takes a couple seconds. Now I'm gonna run. Um, I'm gonna have the first simulation with the simpler. I'm gonna go to the project and uh, if you are asking how I uh, set up this uh, analysis it's very simple you right click on analysis simulation setup and then add transient as I said it should be transient transient in the Maxwell we make sure that we are in the solution type transient and in the simpler also we want to make sure that we are adding a transient not an AC not a DC just transient so when you click on transient, you can put a name for that. You want to say how long the transient simulations want to be. You can make sure that the resolution of this transient is good enough. And if your transient has lots of steady state in the middle, you, you can basically tell the simulator to jump to a larger, uh, you know, time steps. Um, you can say, for example, 10 milliseconds, meaning that you know that in your circuit you have 10 milliseconds that nothing will happen, nothing a special will happen so it will basically whenever it reaches to the point that the simulator thinks that you know what it's kind of constant all of the signals it will jump 10 milliseconds so it will be very fast for you to do the simulations uh, I'm not going to change these things here I actually I want to cancel this because I already add the simpler design here so now if I go and and uh, right click on the, uh, the analysis that I add and I say analyze or analyze or if I click on this one which is the same thing you will see a bunch of errors here. These errors says that I cannot have a link between the transistor, between the transit, the simpler and Maxwell. I, there is no way I can uh, run the simulations on the other side. So how do you expect me to have any answers here? It's because I need to simulate this black box here. So the reason that you have this error is because of a weird uh, flaw in this. Uh, I'm not gonna call it flaw, but it's not. Um, very straightforward to find it. So the reason that you have this error is because um, Simpler cannot make a link to the Maxwell and cannot um, make basically send the command to Maxwell to run the simulations based on what it needs. To do that, you need to go under your project folder uh, and then uh, select uh, this model that you made. And mine is a 3D model right click on that select design settings and under the tab called advanced product coupling press i mean check enable transient transient link with simpler simple like that press ok and now if you go back to the simpler and you press the simulate forget these two these are here because it was uh, don't care about that you can see that this starts asking Maxwell to run a simulation for you and then after the simulation finished it will run its own level of simulations based on whatever you put in in this circuit and it gives you the result at the end and you can see in the Maxwell side that the simulation is started here and uh, it actually says that this simulation is uh, started by simpler transient transient link to simpler is set and you can see that after the simulation finished 
you can have all the results here so that's it if you have any other questions please put it in the comment part and you can see uh, more videos on how you can set up the maxwell structure and the simulations on maxwell in the next couple of tutorials thank you very much